Well, firstly, obviously, it's uh, sad for everyone in Zambia. It's not just for me or uh, his family or Kafir of Celtic. Uh, I think it's something that's uh, affecting everyone in the country because he's one of the players that we all uh, love to watch and to love or enjoy following both for the national team and for his club. So uh, right now I think we're all trying to just uh, uh, let it sink in and, and, and try to get, uh, you know, uh, to, to believe that it's actually uh, happening. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate because uh, in all our plans and talks with him, we've always looked at maybe 10, 15 years more before he retires. Mm. But this has happened now and um, uh, the only thing I can say about that is that uh, we are just thankful that he's alive because the condition he has is quite a serious one. We've seen players, uh, uh, you know, uh, lose their lives on the pitch uh, because of it. Uh, and we've seen others who were lucky to be uh, revived, like Patrice, uh, Fabrice uh, Mwamba, who's had to retire as well at the peak of his career. Um, and, uh, you know, we've seen uh, Mark Vivian Four uh, lose his life uh, before people understood what the condition was. So, I think we have to be positive in, in such a difficult time and, and see that uh, you know we are fortunate enough to still have the computer with us and uh, definitely beyond being on the pitch he can still contribute a lot to Zambian football and uh, I expect that he will, he will do that even from his statement. Uh, first was uh, during the air terrorizing stars in 2013, uh, which FAS used to run, and uh, I was privileged enough to be the chairman of youth at the time. So I, I got to oversee the program, and I saw him on the pitch for the first time in Kalushi, like I've said. And just from his first few touches, you could see that you had a special player. I think it was only two or three days before the, the window closed that uh, uh, Coach Chris Kaunder called me up and said, please, I think, uh, get this player um, to your team, to Celtic, and uh, so that he can develop further. So, uh, so he moved uh, to Kafue and, of course, he did very well, uh, both for Celtic and for the Under-17 national team, which went to the Africa Cup for the first time. Uh, from there, um, he went on loan to Power Dynamos, unfortunately, I think he was too young. Uh, we actually sat in this same office when he pleaded with me to let him uh, go on loan. Uh, um, a year later, uh, the loan ended and he moved to Napsa. Luckily, uh, there um, uh, things got better. Okay, so the Kosafa tournament in South Africa was kind of when the world knew about the computer. Uh, uh, and we won that tournament. Um, from there, I think we went straight into the Africa Cup in 2017, the one that we hosted, the, the, 20, the under-20 tournament. There, I think, he announced himself fully. Um, and I think that's where Red Bull Salzburg also saw him. As they came to watch their player, by then Patson had signed on loan with Red Bull. So, when they came to watch him, I think, during that tournament, I think he was one of the best players in that tournament. And, they noticed him, and when they went back home, they looked at the statistics uh, and they loved uh, the work rate, how much uh, effort he puts and what he does on the pitch. So um, they reached out to us, and of course, I had been holding out for a long time. I, we had so many offers for, for Enoch from the time the, the under-20 for Safa took, uh, took place in South Africa. But I was just praying that uh, Red Bull would be interested because I really wanted the two boys to be together and I wanted both of them to be under 12 management. So luckily, uh, just as I planned, it worked out and that's how his journey in Europe started. The rest, I think everyone knows, three, three years later, the boys were doing so well that uh, the English club saw them and that's how they ended up, uh, or he ended up in England. Just be thankful that he's alive, first of all. 
and uh, we, it pains all of us that we are likely not to see him on the pitch again, to see those special passes, that intelligence uh, on the pitch, that command, uh, and him being our skipper. Obviously, it, it hurts uh, everyone uh, that he can continue. But I keep saying he cannot run away from uh, football. He's got a lot, he's still very young, and I'm sure there's a lot of things that he can do. Uh, once he's settled, he'll decide which path to take in terms of his uh, career in football. And for us, as Kafir Celtic, we'll be there to support him, whatever he chooses to do. 12 management is already on standby to help him if he wants to do any coaching badges or whatever he decides, whether it's his education, uh, you know, or business, whatever it is he decides, I think uh, we'll be there to support him. And I know that this is not the end of uh, the computer. He's definitely got a lot that he's going to contribute to Zambian football. Yeah, well, obviously in this period you try and give him as much space as possible and that's one of my appeals to everyone that they should allow him to be with his family and uh, allow him to let this situation sink in and uh, you know, make decisions on what the way forward is. But uh, yes, I've been lucky enough to communicate with him uh, from the time the incident in Mali happened to you even as, uh, as, as, as early as this morning. Uh, where he when, he, when when I told him I was going for an interview and how much there's overwhelming uh, support for him from the people, uh, he asked me to share a message uh, to the people, which uh, I can read for you uh, now. Uh, uh, and so he says, uh, oh wow, I'm glad we have spoken before you go on for your interview. Tell them that God is faithful and can't fail me, and only God will decide my destiny. There is hope for me to bounce back for God's glory. So you can see that for him it's not the end, and he knows that uh, his faith in God will help him pull through and definitely uh, uh, whether it's a miracle that will happen for him to go back on the pitch or whichever career he, he chooses to take, uh, he knows that he's got uh, God's uh, strength behind him. So I think we should all have that attitude and, and uh, you know, give him the support that he needs.